students will discuss about temperature coefficient of resistance. As we know that when current passes through a conductor, it offers resistance. The cause of resistance is the collisions of free electrons with the atoms or ions of the conductor. So, this opposition to the flow of current is resistance and the resistance depends on one of the factors that is temperature that means in case of uh, conductors when temperature increases the resistance is found to be increasing and in case of uh, semiconductors with an increase in temperature, the resistance is found to decrease. Just the opposite happens with the case of uh, semiconductors. So, so all metals are conductors. So as you increase the temperature of uh, a metal, its resistance increases because the atoms gain thermal energy and uh, which leads to the rapid vibrations, uh, vibrations of the atoms with uh, greater amplitudes. So resistance thereby increases. So this how the resistance depends on temperature. We know that in case of uh, so far that as you increase the temperature resistance increases in case of a conductor. But what how they are related numerically that we are going to discuss. That means how resistance and temperature are related in equation. It has been found that that if you have a resistance A R not if the resistance when the temperature of the conductor is zero degree centigrade. And R T, R sub T represents resistance when the conductor temperature is P degree centigrade. This found that the increase in resistance, that is R T minus R0, depends. It found that the change in resistance depends on the increase in temperature and the original resistance at the degree centigrade. So it depends on two factors. Rising temperature. If I combine the changing resistance, which is R T minus R0, original resistance of 30 centigrade is R0, rising temperature is T minus 0 degree centigrade. It depends directly on these two factors. If I combine these two factors, I will have <coughs> the increase in resistance depends on the original resistance and also on the rising temperature. I call this delta T. Delta T represents the rising temperature. From this, R T minus R0. Is the motion the constant I call alpha this is how they are dependent that RT is R0 into 1 plus alpha delta T for this case it is uh, T delta T is T because delta T is the change in temperature final temperature is T centigrade we heat from 0 to T and initial temperature is T centigrade so it is T centigrade <coughs> now this uh, constant alpha is called as the temperature coefficient of resistance. This alpha is called this alpha. Temperature coefficient of resistance. Now, you can define alpha also. Let us define alpha. Now, RT is R0. So it is defined as the change in resistance
alpha is defined as the change in resistance per original resistance at 0 degree centigrade per degree rise in temperature. Now, it is interesting to note two things. One is, now RT is R0 into 1 plus alpha delta T. If I replace delta T as T, that we can do obviously because uh, the temperature is uh, 0 degree centigrade, we start heating up to T degree centigrade. So therefore the difference is T. If I replace delta T by T, this expression becomes R0 into 1 plus alpha T. If you look at this and plot the graph of resistance versus uh, <coughs> the temperature, then it should be a straight line. Because from this we can uh, say the graph is like this. I will take the resistance in uh, y axis and uh, along x axis I will take uh, temperature. Now x axis temperature variation, y axis resistance variations, this is the origin. Now, if you look at this equation, this is a linear equation, this is the equation of straight line, because we know that the equation of straight line is y equals to mx plus c is the standard equation of a straight line, which goes like this, where c is the y-intercept, so it's positive plus c, so it will go like this, suppose this distance is c, so this distance is c, it's like that, where this is your slope tan theta is the slope that is your m m is the slope now if i compare this with this equation this equation is something like this <coughs> rt equals to r0 1 plus alpha t i can write this as if i take this into the bracket i have rt equals to r0 plus r0 alpha T. This I can think as y, this I can think as c, this I can think as m and this is your x. You can see that this y is mx c plus, mx plus c form where x varies that is the uh, time uh, temperature varies and along this direction and resistance varies along this direction. C is the y intercept. So here, suppose this is a C. So here it is R zero. That means from here you start uh, giving values of R. Suppose that this is the R zero value. So this distance is uh, R zero, and the nature will be similar to this. So it will be like this. But in reality, but in reality, this graph is not a straight line because we have neglected some facts that this uh, also depends on the higher powers of uh, uh, this expression. So this is not the one expression of our party, there are expressions. So like uh, I will say some expressions like RT is R0 into 1 plus alpha T plus beta T square. So we have expressions like this because uh, here we have neglected this expression third term for approximation because this is very small so it is neglected. Otherwise if you take this into account in uh, entrance exam if you get a question like this the variation of uh, resistance and temperature it is not a straight line if you have the option like parabola it will be so this equation is uh, it should be like this something like this so it is not a straight line it is supposed to be because if you consider this only then it is a straight line or is a parabola it is like that this is the equation of a parabola so it can be like that here 
R0 or 0 degree centigrade and this is the temperature T degree centigrade and we have this uh, resistance that is we call R in T, R sub T. So R sub T is the resistance over here, R T and the resistance over here is R0. So this is how the graph looks like and we have taken temperature in degree centigrade and resistance we taken in ohm. So resistance we taken in ohm and this we taken in degree centigrade. So <coughs> because this expression uh, why the graph is like this that also we can discuss. Let us say uh, let us discuss this fact also why the graph is like that. Now I will write the expression for you and see if uh, we have the actual curve that goes up concave okay concave upward you will see that the expression i wrote it was r0 into 1 plus r t and some constant t square if you take this in, into the bracket this will be r0 r0 alpha t r0 beta t square this is r sub t you must must have read in kinematics the kinematical equations one of the kinematical equation is i will draw your attention that one of the kinematical equation is s equals to s naught plus ut plus half at square if you compare that and with this this is exactly the same thing the here the there the t stands for time of motion here t stands for temperature the other variable s was the displacement of the particle here it is a resistance so this uh, is a this stands for a cu this r naught beta stands for half a if you compare this and this r naught is so by comparing this also you can say that the graph will be like that because we know the graph of st curve this is a case uh, when uh, this acceleration is constant in case of a uh, uh, uniformly accelerated motion so this is possible if uh, beta is a, a constant in uniformly accelerated motion the st curve will be like this this is your the s and this is your t t stands for time of motion s stands for displacement so this graph is uh, a time t equals to zero so t equals to zero s is s naught so somewhere here it is s naught so from here <coughs> Uh, ut plus half t square curve is a parabolic curve you would have drawn, drawn like that if you recall so this diagram is similar to this diagram the, the uh, equation is, has this graph and as i plot the graph of this that also looks should be similar to this here yeah, see r not and this goes like that so if i draw a uh, graph of this uh, here side by side then it should be rt it should be t here and here the graph should also look like that that is your R naught. So this is how you write that it is parabolic. This method is it is a parabola. Okay. Now, <coughs> if we neglect the third term, then it is a straight line. So, <coughs> though the radiation is not actually linear, but still we say that uh, there is a rise as you. Uh, increase the temperature like this so the graph is moving up towards a uh, more uh, positive value of resistance it is moving up upward directions not downward directions so that justifies that uh, uh, resistance increases with rising temperature that is one point second point is that we we'll write the first unit of uh, alpha the temperature coefficient of resistance the unit is unit of rt minus r0 that is ohm divided by cos zero resistance that is ohm and kelvin so this ohm cancels this kelvin minus one if you write it of a degree centigrade then also it is degree centigrade minus one this is how this you can write okay dimension is the same as this k minus one now some uh, uh, properties of Alpha. This uh, temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is positive for metal. I will write that uh, alpha is positive for uh, 
ke atas so negative for insulators then alpha is negative for insulators as well as semiconductors alpha is small for alloys they have a high value of resistivity and a small value of alpha so they are the, like a constant in used for the coil oxygen is basically used for coil high resistivity uh, high resistivity and uh, low of alpha value they are uh, suitable for uh, coil for giving a uh, high resistance then the alpha depends on temperature by depends on temperature because by definition it is the uh, change in resistance upon original resistance for the rise in temperature by changing the temperature the value of alpha changes so alpha is a uh, is constant or we consider alpha constant over a range that means doesn't mean that if I change uh, alpha from uh, temperature from 0 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade, the alpha will also have uh, different values. At this temperature and the uh, different value at that temperature, it is not the case. So, over a range of temperature, the alpha is the average value of alpha we consider. Alpha is averaged over the range of temperature. So, but basically, it depends on the temperature. Alpha is different for different temperatures. Generally, you take the average value of alpha. This is temperature dependent. So, this is our coefficient of uh, temperature coefficient of resistance. Okay, thank you.